Hello again everyone, Edwin Learner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be giving you my Cancer June 2019 horoscope forecast part one of two. And yes, this does apply and pertain to the sun, moon, and ascendant. Anyway, people, first thing up is as far as June goes, the sun will be in Gemini from the 1st until the 21st. So the 12th house as well will be emphasized and highlighted. At this time, there could be a strong concentration of energy, focus, and attention on limitations, restrictions, secret sorrows, the self undoing, and aunt and uncle, those less fortunate than yourself, such as the impoverished the oppressed, the homeless, the hungry, and also in some cases it could be mental illness, it could be hospitalization, hidden adversary, solitude, and seclusion. Now given that this is Gemini uh, energy, a lot of this could be done in a lot of animated, spirited fashion, but there can be a lot of vacillation. Remember this is a lot different than Taurus energy, which is more plotting and persistent and methodical. This is, I mean, Gemini energy could be very mercurial, very changeable. In some cases, this could shine a light, uh, so to speak, on a Gemini hidden adversary. It could be a Gemini sun, moon, or ascendant person, or simply one that embodies Gemini characteristics. Could also be about an eye issue as well. Remember, the um, the sun in astrology rules the left or right eye, depending on gender. It could be a Gemini type eye issue that could be very mercurial and changeable, or even double vision, perhaps, or something um, that where one eye is moving much more rapidly than the other. So, anyway. Next thing up is as far as uh, June goes, the sun will be in Cancer from the 21st until the 30th. So the first house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. At this time, there could be a strong concentration of energy, focus, and attention on self, uh, self-interest, the appearance, uh, outlook on life, the outer personality, outer demeanor, new beginnings, a grandmother even, early childhood, even first impressions. Um, and uh, so, and given this is Cancerian energy, this could be done with a lot of tenacity, a lot of nurturing and care, especially perhaps for the self and the physical body, especially if this is the actual first house in one's chart. Now, this is some, this is two, um, in some cases, well, this could shine the light, so to speak, on a Cancerian type physical issue, such as such, uh, something with the stomach, the chest, or the breast and even um some cases um looking at this as well a dominant male could be instrumental play integral role in new beginnings it could be something um could be the father in some cases it could be a cancer sun moon or ascendant person or simply one that embodies cancerian characteristics anyway well, next thing up, there will be a new moon in Gemini on June 3rd. So the 12th house is what will be emphasized and highlight. Now, in some cases, this may manifest uh, perhaps in a new Gemini hidden adversary. It could be a Gemini sun, moon, or ascendant person, or one that simply embodies Gemini traits. It could be a new Gemini limitation of some kind, such as something with communication or something with the arms or, or perhaps the hands or anything that could be Gemini uh, related, but also doing something, it could be the start of doing something Gemini like in solitude and seclusion, such as something with writing or journalism or doing some kind of data, satellite communication, such as, uh, or doing some kind of um, something that re requires being very proficient with the hands, such as auto or refrigeration mechanics. It could be the start of having a wide divergence of ways that where you help those that are less fortunate than yourself, such as the impoverished, the oppressed, the homeless, or the hungry. It could be about rekindling communications with an aunt or an uncle uh, at this time. And um, anyway, this also, I mean, this could be uh, something too where you just uh, simply uh, begin some kind of um, you know, just general communications where you're basically in solitude and seclusion or in some cases it might be the start of a new clandestine relationship with a Gemini sun moon or ascendant person or one that embodies Gemini traits so anyway 
Well, the next thing up is uh, there will be a full moon in Sagittarius on June 17th. So the sixth house as well will be emphasized and highlighted. Now at this time, in some cases, this could be about the completion or culmination of a Sagittarius type of employment. It could be something with sports or religion, philosophy it could be with uh, publishing or advertising, doing um, something with foreigners or some kind of uh, working with translation. It could also be a time where you become rather exasperated, tireful, so to speak, of a self-righteous, foolhardy, over-exuberant, over-optimistic and reckless. It could be an aunt, an uncle or uncle, someone prominent in your daily routine, someone strong in your health life or your place of employment. This could also be a time to where, I mean, full moons in astrology can often be about revelations or unveilings. This could be about the revelation or unveiling of perhaps maybe someone in your daily routine that might uh, have some kind of uh, maybe a warped philosophy or maybe just a very, uh, might be a religious fanatic. It could be also a Sagittarius health related issue might be unveiled at this time, such as something with the liver or the thigh or the sciatic nerve. So anyway, people, and especially let's say if this is making an inconjunct aspect to your ascendant, or if it's uh, making an adverse aspect to your natal sun. Uh, so anyway, next thing up. Well, Mercury will be in Gemini as far as June goes from the first until the fourth. So the 12th house as well will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time, well, this could manifest in some cases about Gemini siblings, maybe being hidden adversaries or maybe figuring prominently in your limitations. This could be Gemini sun moon or ascendant people or ones that embody Gemini traits. This could be where you might be less loquacious in general than usual, but maybe more talkative and voluble in solitude and seclusion. And also, uh, this could be about too, you might find yourself talking about manifold ways in which you could help those less fortunate than yourself, such as the impoverished, the oppressed, the hungry, or the homeless. You might be more mentally inquisitive regarding 12th house matters, such as matters connected with your own perhaps your limitations, your restrictions, those less fortunate. It could be even an aunt or an uncle, or maybe trying to inquire about, maybe you're, you're, you're really, your mind might be more restless, maybe in, in you're being more inquisitive, maybe about who are your true friends, who are the ones that are actually the, the hidden adversaries that are just disguising themselves as friends. And also speaking with a lot of diction, good diction, a lot of eloquence regarding 12th house matters, such as maybe the metaphysical, which includes astrology, spirituality, and 12th house matters in general. Well, next thing up, Mercury will be in Cancer as far as June goes from the 4th until the 26th. So the first house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. Now, at this time, you might be more voluble, more loquacious than usual, perhaps talking about a lot of Cancerian subjects such as call things with culinary cooking laundry or maybe even talking a lot about cancerian new beginnings again this should be connected with home renovation uh, remodeling repair it could be matters pertaining to family um, maybe starting a family business uh, talking maybe something with laundry with culinary with cooking uh, anything cancerian related and also cancer siblings may figure very prominently and instrumental in new beginnings. They could be Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant people, or simply ones that embody Cancerian characteristics. And also you might find yourself reminiscing more about perhaps your early childhood and maybe matters with your grandmother, a grandmother perhaps. And also, remember Mercury can also be about neighbors. This could be about very sympathetic, caring, nurturing neighbors that might uh, help propel you uh, to new starts or maybe give you more insight as to maybe doing things connected with better maybe first impression or appearance uh, so anyway next thing up 
Mercury will be in Leo as far as June goes from the 26th until the 30th. So the second house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. Now at this time you might find yourself maybe boasting, even bragging about your resources, your possessions, things of a monetary nature, how much money you're making. And also too, maybe thinking with more self-assuredness and confidence can play a strong role in your self-worth and your self-esteem at this time. You might find yourself talking more extravagantly, so to speak, regarding buying and selling. Remember that Mercury can also be about siblings. They could be about thieves. This could be about Leo siblings. They could be Leo sun, moon, ascendant people, or ones that embody Leo characteristics might figure strongly in your self-worth and your self-esteem at this time. And also be careful about Leo type thieves, ones that are very, uh, really can steal on a very high level. This you are talking about the second house of monetary matters, so just be very careful at this time. And this is a time to. Uh, where really your creative thinking might factor in more uh, with your monetary situation at this time. And also the mind may be more motivated toward making money at this time and doing so with a lot of self-assuredness, a lot of confidence, but you might want to guard against dominating conversations at the place maybe where you uh, make money and generate income. Last but not least, Venus will be in Taurus as far as June goes from the 1st until the 9th. So the 11th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. Now at this time, you might find yourself uh, valuing loyalty, steadfastness, trustworthiness, persistence, perseverance uh, in matters with friends, acquaintances, uh, groups, clubs, organizations. This could be also about conservative spending on friends and acquaintances at this time. Now a Taurus relationship, it could be a Taurus sun, moon, or ascendant person or one that embodies Taurus traits might figure more prominently in your goals, your aspirations, and your future at this time. And also the, about the enjoyment of Taurian things with friends, with acquaintances at this time. Now money may be made through some kind of a Taurus type aspiration or goal or, or maybe with friends, with acquaintances, it could be doing something with cultivation, accounting, something um, or, or something or might be connected with something where an aspiration had recently been completed. It could be with accounting or you know, financial advisor, building construction, architecture, agriculture. So anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for my Cancer June 2019 horoscope forecast part one of two. And stay tuned next time. I'll be giving you my Cancer June 2019 horoscope forecast part two of two. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel, but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone, because astrologically speaking, the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.